So here we have the Honda Jazz automatic on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle. And on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge. And it'll also tell you the miles for this car, which 8,548, so uh, very low mileage. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have a speed limiter on the right-hand side. Uh, and these buttons will change the trip computer information. We then have stereo and phone controls over on the left-hand side. Just behind the steering wheel, we have the minus and plus paddle. That is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. And then over in the center here, we have the touch screen for the car. So you can pair your phone here amongst other things. Those other things, of course, being audio. Uh, there are plenty of ways to listen to your music. They are being displayed on the screen now. So we've got the radio, of course, FM, long wave, medium wave, and digital radio, or DAB. Uh, we have a CD player, USB input, iPod input. Uh, one of the main ones there is Bluetooth audio. Uh, you can stream your music wirelessly, as well as obviously making and receiving phone calls in this car. Working our way down from that, we have the climate control. So you can adjust the fan speed, up and down, the temperature, up and down. You can determine where you'd like the air to be directed within the car. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on or off. When it's on, you can hit auto if you wish to and the car will now take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain the temperature you've asked for. Overriding that, we'll put it back in a manual mode again. Working our way down, we have the HDMI, USB input, we have a 12 volt charging socket as well. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and then this button just here will turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel uh, and I've just turned that system off. You know it's off because you'll get the orange symbol come up here to let you know. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.